Welcome back to the third part, third movie uh, in our series and this one will undock and do the fly around. As you can see I've just finished off uh, the on orbit uh, activities of STS-124 and we're ready to keep on going. Now uh, the com you didn't see just previous to this one was to set the shuttle and the station to LVLH pretty sta uh, straightforward all you need to make sure you hit the LVLH and then manually adjust the pitch so you'll have a 90.0 pitch that's it so let's go over the undocking com do it real quick and get on to business First of order of the day, make sure we are on minus Z sense and our aft flight controller is on. Attitude still on LVLH with lows as we left it when we docked. DAP, same settings as docking as we docked except for the LVLH. Uh, right now I'll leave it on pulse and rate. We might uh, tweak it about uh, as we uh, open up the distance and go for uh, the rest of our activities. Uh, in addition, just I would recommend you uh, look at the uh, s the updated manual. You will see a chapter called Undocking Taurus, Taurus, and Final Separation. It has its own little checklists on what we need to do during this phase. Uh, so let's just begin. Uh, let's just turn on the ADPS for undocking. It's all in the com. I just uh, happen to remember all this after years and years. Just kidding. I've done it so many times uh, in the game, and I'm sure most of you have known are familiar with uh, certain sequences by heart. So let's just wait for the undocking to occur. Still waiting. Let time skip to save ourselves. Okay, now power off the ADPS. By the way, have you, as you have noticed, uh, some of the distances given on the checklists, well, all of them, are calculated uh, to a docking port at uh, 66 feet. Right now, we st we have another nod sitting here which is 20 feet so our uh, distances should be uh, increased by 20 on STS 124 but it's not a big deal so if we're talking about uh, 30 feet docking port to docking port and it says on the checklist to have 96 CG distance uh, that actually means on the 66 uh, uh, shuttle uh, station missions, so uh, we're talking about uh, 116 feet CG to CG on this one. Let's just uh, power off, finish powering off. Okay, now we got two feet uh, 0 0.02 of closure. Let's back off using plus x thrusts, I'm on pulse mode so I'm just doing multiple thrusts and open up uh, our uh, separation to 0.15 that will be a good pace now again fly around as with the RPM is uh, conducted on daylight so we will uh, judge throughout the approach and try and uh, hit ourselves to the position about here not on the crossing but more on the day side if needed we'll just wait no problem with that we'll just station keep until uh, we have a good distance okay we are approaching the 30 feet mark and we've crossed it and let's open up the rate to 0.2 
Now, as we go away, we'll just turn on the camera, the payload camera, and make sure we're still centered. Uh, pretty much, we don't need to do anything except for backing off. And just for a reference now and uh, alignment later. We pretty much don't do need to do anything from this point on until we're about 400 feet away. 400, 450. Uh, where we're gonna start our uh, fly around. Now, uh, the fly around, let's just slow down because we're just getting too far away and we'll never make it. So we'll slow down right now to about point one and well let's just let it drift away we still need to cross uh, we still have about uh, 45 minutes of orbit because we haven't crossed into the night side and we need to be on the day side for the uh, fly run so no need to rush still running fast okay never mind now uh as we approach our uh, point, I want to let's just wait for the station keep, uh, and then I'll start talking about what is the uh, fly around and how it's done. So let's give it let give it a bit. As you can see, we're not on schedule, so to speak. Four hundred. I'll just show you what happens if you uh, thrust, even in pull, sometimes skip one press, point 20. Okay, let's just zero ourselves in, doing multiple presses, and we'll just wait here for the sunrise. Now, we have a uh, few stages on the fly around and uh, first one is the uh, Taurus which is twice orbital rate separation followed by uh, the Tor F the twice orbital rate fly around uh, twice orbital rate is because the uh, way we do it it's not nothing that uh, relevant to SSM right now but in general what we do is uh, start the pitch on the same rate as on the Torva uh, point 0.1 if you remember pitch up on point 0.1 uh, degrees per second uh, which is roughly the twice orbital rate because the horizon more or less drops at zero point minus 0 0.1 degrees a second when we orbit so we actually pitching up twice the rate of the LVLH of the shuttle and we're slowly gonna thrust up and uh, go above the shuttle, slowing down, maintaining about uh, four, uh, about 600 feet uh, once on top, and then just dive down after the sta be, uh, from behind the station, open up the distance a bit, and stabilize beneath it. And then uh, on that point, we will uh, perform our final separation burn. And I've wasted so much time, well, not time skipping. So if this is the station, barely visible, we're gonna start going up. How can we see it? Go about here, go down from here, and back in here. All in all, it's about 270 degrees of a lap, and uh, we should be able to do it in about 20 minutes real time 20-25 minutes with time skip it's a bit less accurate but uh, it's much faster now that we can see it we said 450 we'll open up to about 600 feet here do this for the lap at 600 feet and then open up to about 750 uh, going back down and here we'll just uh, thrust away with the Ohm's engines.